So we've talked today a lot about notice and comment rulemaking, this really interesting democratizing institution. But it leads us to this really important question. So where does this proposed rule come from? Where does this draft rule, which is often hundreds of pages, can be hundreds of pages long, filled with technical detail, where does this proposed rule come from? There's a whole process, a political process before the draft rule that I call the pre-proposal stage of rulemaking. So this is between, the, between Congress saying you have to write a rule and the agency writing the draft rule. And it turns out there's lots of politics going on at that stage as well. So, so bear with me here. So in the notice and comment process, there's court prohibited, pro prohibited ex parte communications. And essentially that means that people that aren't participating by submitting regular comments can't just call up a regulator and let them know their opinion. They have to actually have their opinion docketed, put it in the public file so it's transparent. So before the rule is promulgated, there's no such prohibition. And that encourages, and in fact it's sort of well, it's well documented by case study research, um, agency officials contacting oftentimes regulated, regulated entities to find out what kind of information should go into this proposed rule. So I have just finished a new study that looks at this early participation process, looks again at the draft, the text of that draft rule, and then does a large interview, um, systematic interview of people that might be participants in this process and finds out, sure enough, there's lots of active, engaged, regulated entities that are speaking, having telephone conversations, as well as face-to-face -face conversations and email with regulators before the promulgation of this draft rule. And it turns out to be a very important political venue for influence in the policymaking process.